Hey guys, welcome to a new video than usual. Today we're going to be doing a tier list um, based on Finn's matchups in multiverses. Over here I have my document that I made on Finn. It's basically a Finn guide. It's almost 4,000 words. I know, pretty crazy. And we're going to be using this to base off our uh, system. Alright, so let's just get started. Um, I'll also be giving some tips and tricks throughout because, you know, I'm just that cool. We're going to start with the Finn mirror match. Now this is even. You can't get any more even than this. It's the same character. Um... I feel like for the Finn mirror match, take your time, right? Like, if you go in all aggressive and then you whiff, like, a fair or a dare, you're gonna get punished. Especially since the new patch notes added a lot more whiff to Finn's attacks. And whiff is, if you didn't know, it's basically, like, if you miss an attack, there's, like, end lag. So you miss an attack and then there's a frame where your opponent can punish you for missing and it just, it, it, it basically, like, helps solve out this spamming issue that's uh, going on with uh but yeah so using your gems to get closer to finn and you know, get like get some hits in and that uh th the best way to kill a finn i'd say in the mirror match is definitely spikes um i guess also bag up special is pretty good like vertically but spikes are just absolutely destroy finn um next we're gonna go to the harley so harley is in medium actually I have versed some really good Harleys, I've also versed some really bad Harleys, but overall I feel like Harley against Finn is a pretty even match, uh, not even, sorry, medium match. Your gem is a free way to basically get rid of any bombs that are on screen, or anything like that. Um, and yeah, when you set off bomb, you can, you, and that's a pretty easy, you know, just get around the map, you know, she's a, she, she's a, she's an, she's an assassin with bombs and traps, it's a bit crazy. Basically, just keep moving. Harley's uh, hammer takes time to like wind up and is heavy hitting, and she can also combo you like crazy. So you want to make sure that you're always on the go, always moving, always, always making sure that you're not standing still. Don't get below her, because her hammer will destroy you. Try and attack from the sides. Now Shaggy, Shaggy's right here. Shaggy is also a medium. I'd say he's a bit easier than, than Harley. So... For Shaggy, he's he's a very close range guy. Well, except for his sandwich, obviously. Um, your sword is definitely going to be your best friend in the matchup. And since most of your moves are well with a sword, you have a pretty strong chance. Um, you should I should say against a sh I, sh I should I should say against a Shaggy, always start off the match by regrabbing gem, and just hold on to it until the Shaggy throws out an unsafe move, and then at that point just knock it in. Throw it on him, sorry, and then just dash towards it. And if you're using the flammable dock perk, which if you hit someone w with a projectile and then you hit them like after a bit, it's like a time frame, it puts them on fire. It's really good for finish. It's, it's basically just like free burning damage. It's really good. But yeah, so Shaggy's a medium. He can, if he gets you in like a nair or a dare, he can get you up to a high percent really quickly. So make sure you're always watching out for what he can do. Now, Batman over here is very hard, uh, in my opinion. Um, well, I guess, technically, it'd be hard for this match, but we'll go very hard for this one. Um, and you'll see why later. So, Batman is on oh, absolute pain. He's definitely Finn's second worst matchup in the entire game. Bugs is pretty close, but he's more like just hard, to be honest. So, at close range, um, he's an absolute beast his combos are insane and basically anything can mean it can be extended if he just hits rang once he can just ex extend the combo to the moon long range though he's not that good which is why i suggest using again your gems to get close to him or you should uh dodge dodge dash jump the thing you know when you you, you like dodge forward and then you go flying like this it's a, the tip of your fair is also good when like like a landing because let's say the like the bat's here and like and, and you're here and, and you like jump here and he runs towards you if you hit fair here it'll, it'll like hit him back and then you have room to combo him <clears throat> for a bit um i'd also say that bat batman doesn't really like to be in the air too much but when they do always make sure that you're charging your up smash because that is just absolutely amazing against a batman since, since his hitbox is a bit larger than yours he's a bit of a larger character it's definitely just worthwhile to make sure you're always having a move charged up to hit him if he makes any 
mistakes at all. And also, sorry, last thing to mention is if you like, rang and grapple hook can be beaten by just dash. Batman likes likes to rang and then run into you. If if you dash at the right time, it'll break the rang and it'll also hit the, the Batman out the way. Same with how grapple works. Your uh, dash beats that if you time it right. Now, here we got Jake. Jake is Finn's hardest matchup. I don't care what anyone says. Jake is an absolute Finn counter. With the new patches, he's he's not that bad from what I'm seeing, but he'll he, like he'll still be Finn's worst matchup. Now, let me explain. This may be a long time because instead of just doing strengths, I'm going to go over the weaknesses too and what you should look out for. Okay. So for strengths for Jake, you need to play horizontal. Jake's vertical game outclasses all of yours, and you need to use your swords, gems, and well, play it that way. A, gr a great way to approach a Jake is to use your gems at a distance and then dash into them. Again, it's same for like every character, but for Jake, it's dude, he will absolutely destroy you in a close range. That that punch is long range. It's insane. Now for Jake, his down special, the uh, house boat thing, is literally a fin counter. You can't charge and up attack or any move unless you have perfect timing now i've been finding uh, late lately that's actually for me it's easier to just move out the way and then wait for them to land and then usually when they see that you're not falling for their bait they try and jump out the way so what the good thing to do is is to then jump fair and do some fair combos like that now his punch is an absolute counter right his punch does more knockback and has more range than any of your sword moves. And I, again, it's not every Jake player, obviously. It's just a few. But in my opinion, Jake is really only good when you spam the three moves he has. Now, I shouldn't really say spam, but like... I, I only see them using three moves. And sometimes they just hit the button where I am, the direction, and hit the attack key. I see that that sometimes too. Now, with the skateboard, again, oh my god, I don't, even the Jakes agree that skateboard, you cannot punish it. It's, it is so powerful, okay? I was playing against a Jake the other day, and, um, I went to go up smash it. I saw it coming and everything. I went to go up smash it, and I, and I just get hit. I don't even think he, he even has a hurt box on it. You you can't hit him. You go right like, from the side, you get hit. Like, you can't really go from above, because he won't be doing it above. He'll probably just, like, upstretch. But, yeah, if... Again, if you want to uh, read uh, more, you can just go to this page here. Link is in the uh, Finn Discord server. Not Finn server. The Multiverse's Discord server in the Finn channel. But there also is a Finn Discord server. The invite link is on screen right now. And, yeah, let's just continue. So next we're going to have Garnet. So Garnet is a medium. She's pretty easy, so we're going to put it down at the bottom. But I still think she can be quite a challenge at some time. So Garnet is quite slow. Yeah, she's pretty slow. Maybe third slowest in the, in the game, maybe. But she can change her speed with her singing, but we're not going to worry about that right, right this second. So the best thing to do against a Garnet is to stay in the air. Okay, her ground attack, she dominates that. Probably even better than Shaggy at, at that point, and just like pure ground. So you, you need to use your fares and your dares and all of your up like aerial moves to combo Garnet. Because she is combo food at like a certain point, and your Nair is absolutely fantastic for um, sh uh, shield breaking. Oh, sorry, arm breaking. Sorry, it's in Smash. <laughs> A good combo I like to use that works, especially like for Garnet, is Dare, Up up Air, Jump Nair, Jump Up Special, Jump Up Special, if you're using the Triple Jump perk. <clears throat> Next is Steven, again. Um, I haven't really versed him that much, so I'd probably put him uh, maybe above Garnet, I don't know. Not really Steven's, like, I haven't seen a good Steven. Probably because just no one plays him, but I'm sure there's probably like like a god Steven that would actually just like destroy me. But just in my opinion, we're gonna put him above Shaggy because I don't know. I feel like he could be good. Um, really, there's nothing really to say for Steven. Just make sure you don't don't get distracted by the watermelon boy thingy. Um, and you know, and you can also dash into it to to knock it off the edge for an easy win. Basically, just. Be patient and try and use your strength and your combos. 
Alright, now for Wonder Woman is our first easy character. Now I know a lot of, of, of you out there have been like, wow, Wonder Woman easy? The, what, what do you mean? But in my opinion, a Wonder Woman is only good when you're above her. Right, her, I mean, well, obviously she is a vertical character. But basically, as long as you keep to your strengths and approach from afar and use your gems to get in, you should be okay. Since, well, most of you are also faster than hers, and, you know, you can, you can, you're, you're very speedy, so. So, it's, you know, it's, it's always, like, good. Just make sure you're not getting lassoed, because you can be sent into the blast zone at 40%, okay? It's true, it's, it's, uh, I've actually done that before with, uh, this, this character. <laughs> anyway, next is Bugs. Now, I put Bugs on, on my tier list right here, that I'm actually reading off of, because I can't do a script, because I'm stupid. I put him on medium. Um... I still agree with that, but I'm, I don't know, because I know he's, he was the best character in the game, and since the new patches, he's maybe like the third best, but I'm gonna just, I would put him in medium again, just because that's how I thought he was, but I might up him a bit, just because of, of my, I've been playing a, like against bugs, and I've been getting destroyed, so I'm gonna actually put him in the hard section, I'm just gonna change it actually right now. Right. <clears throat> Let's put him in the hard section. Now, this isn't gonna like most of this that I'm gonna say right now isn't actually on the guide. This is just from my recently personal experience because I've been versing a bunch of bugs recently, and also and also Jake actually. It's it's actually weird. And um, basically, um, just don't rush bugs. Um, many times I've seen him at the edge and I've tried to like jump and just like rush into him and then just boom missile and I've just got it at, at, at like 40% um play patient um a bad bugs will just spam all the projectiles at the start of, of the game and then they're just left you know being helpless now a good bugs well well <laughs> good bugs is they, they, they're usually smart they usually use their like little uh hole thing with the safe you know basically cover the like like the whole stage, you, you can't move. Um, I'd say my only my only tip like for bugs is kind of the same for Garnet, and I think I said same for Steven. Just stay in the air and use your up smash to get them up in, in the air for some up special combos. Uh, and also use Nair because it basically like launches you there, and you can uh, it's Nair is so good. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna go for Tom and Jerry now. Tom and Jerry is a very special case. On the guide, I put them as a depends. And the reason for this is because when I'm versing a bad Tom and Jerry, like maybe someone rank 500k, I don't know. They are, it's absolute, just not even a challenge. You just press one button and they die, okay? Because a bad Tom and Jerry doesn't actually know how to use Jerry effectively. And they end up just killing Jerry and they just die because Tom, like, like, on his own isn't really that good. But now a good Tom and Jerry is probably would be the best in the game. But since Tom and Jerry, I don't know, it's a very weird character. I'm going to put them in the even category. They're not that hard because obviously you can get in as long as you dodge their moves and you get, like, past them. Just... Really, just play to your strengths, kill Jerry at the start, and make sure you watch out for their dynamite. Now, Iron Giant, he's next one. Easiest character in the game. Not even going to explain why. Well, I will. Oh, it just changed. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Iron Giant, easiest in the entire game. I don't care what you say. He literally got nerfed to the ground recently. I absolutely just... No. I'm, no. Superman... He was on medium, I might put him in the even match now, because his super armor is just an absolute pain to work with. I versed a spamming Superman who only used armor, armor moves recently, and I had to use Nair for every move so I could actually hit him. My man was going crazy with the armor moves, it was absolutely insane. It, 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 literally playing like a little gremlin, okay, it was awful. So I'm gonna put him at the top of medium. Uh, let's actually put him b uh, below Harley. Alright. Oh yeah, sorry, I should, I should probably say, like, how to beat him. <laughs> so, 
yeah, basically you want to make sure you are finding openings from their super armor uh, moves. Like when he's, if, if, if you see him, I don't know, charging up, make sure you try and bait him and try and get him into a combo. If he's doing that thing where he, he, like, he like jumps in the air, you can actually punish it a lot earlier than, than you think. So just wait a second, time the dodge and just get in there. Um, oh, sorry, I have to sneeze. There we go. All right. So, Rain Dog is next. Now, Rain Dog is, again, very strange. I versed maybe one Rain Dog, and it was quite easy. But I know that Rain Dog actually can be somewhat decent, since I also sometimes play him. So, I'm going to put him just here above Garnet. Um, I guess, rarely, just try and watch out for his fireballs and his side B. Not, not really anything else. Um, Tasmanian did. Devil, uh -huh, easy win. Don't even care. Don't know at me. Uh, I, I can actually, I did make a, a little uh, joke here. So for the weaknesses, I said, "Haha, that's a funny joke." Yeah, okay, okay never mind. Uh, next, we have the Arya Stark matchup. Now, I don't know about this character. Um, I versed a bunch like when I was low elo or like low MI, I guess, and they were pretty easy to beat. Not gonna lie, they didn't really know what they were doing. But I was first a good one recently, and they absolutely destroyed me. I think I only got, like, one stock, and it was barely. So, they're going to be at the top of medium. Um, I feel like if people can master her more and maybe get, like, better combos, I'd probably move up to, like, a low hard. But for now, actually, you know, we'll, we'll put her at the bottom of even. I, th I feel like she deserves to go there. Now, okay, LeBron James is next. Um... LeBron James is a bit weird, because no one has... He's fairly new, he came out in the last update, and since no one really knows how to play him, it's, you know, it's quite easy to beat him, especially, well, no one really knows how to play him yet, so they're not, he's he's not um, optimized, he, like, the, the combos aren't really out there yet, so, but I feel like he could be good, so I'm going to put him above one Woman, just because I feel like he deserves to be that spot. Um, I'd say ma just basically try and dash his basketball. I think I'm pretty sure you, you can. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure, and just correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm 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 pretty certain you uh, can. So you know, just do that and make sure you you know just just dodge his ball. It's after is it when the ball's gone, he's basically helpless to be honest. Now, Velma, on the sheet uh, as you as you can see here, the only three people left are Velma, Morty, and Rick. And obviously these two aren't in the game, so the cost as the unknown. But Velma, you probably see, has nothing here. And you're probably wondering why. And that's because I have never matched into a Velma in my entire life. So, I'm sorry, but I cannot do her in this video. Um, the only thing I can probably say, because I've done some labbing with her, and I've, I've seen her in twos, but never in ones, is to just watch out for... Um, her the potion thing that that, that, she, that she puts down if, if you stand in that and don't even realize you can be just absolutely destroyed um she has a nice combo where she uh the she like runs i've again i, I i'm not sure the moves and then as she like let's go if she, if she like does an up smash at the, at the right time it's, it's a true combo at basically any percent and can rack up some nice damage so because i, I don't know how she actually is we're gonna put at the bottom of even Rick and Morty, they aren't out yet, and when they are, I will probably do one for them. Um, and that's basically it. So, just some overall tips, um, again, for just everyone, is approaching with your gem is probably the, the easiest thing you, you can possibly do. Um, gem with the It's Flammable Dock is just a great way to rack up damage in a short amount of time and i definitely re recommend trying it out especially with triple jump if you guys use nair fair with triple jump it's crazy after this video is done i'm immediately gonna record just a short combo guide from just like random combos that i i can just do in lab and i'll teach you guys how, um, how to do that or you can go to this which will be linked in the description as, as as well with with the Finn Discord server and the Multiverse server, all in the, in the same place, so you can just have a look around yourself. And of course, if you guys d disagree with any of this, give me feedback. That's all I care about, guys. I'm trying to make 
this for the community, for the my you know fellow Finns, or I don't know if a Superman wants to see how he makes my life a pain, he can obviously come by and go, hey, they want to use Nair more. I'll just dodge and use more armor moves. There we go. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this actually did help you. And if it, if it didn't, well, I don't really care. Subscribe.